Hey Glam Fam! What's up? Welcome to the channel. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I've been dropping gems back to back to back to back and you do not want to miss out on them. And today I have another fantastic video just for you guys. So if you know me, you probably know I don't do much makeup shopping nowadays. Hell, most days I don't even wear makeup. But honey, when I do glam up, I glam up okay and I decided to treat myself just a few weeks ago I went into Mac and I picked up a few items now these items have just been sitting in the box because as I told you guys I really don't wear makeup nowadays so there was no need for me to take them out until it was time for me to share them with you guys and also I want to do a separate video just sharing with you guys me using these specific items but nonetheless your girl has a Mac haul for you guys on today and if you followed my channel previously the channel that I had prior to this one you probably know that your girl used to be a Mac girl 100% so I just bit the bullet and I went into Mac and let me share with y'all how much I spent really quickly $242 so not bad if y'all watched me when I was younger y'all know that my mom used to take me to Mac she used to take me and my sister to kind of try to treat us and she used to spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on Mac just for us to practice with it so not too bad compared to what my mom used to do okay which by the way if you guys are not subscribed to my mom's channel I want to encourage you guys to head over and subscribe but enough of me rambling let me go ahead and share these items with you all so when it came to me picking out makeup um, for this specific point in my life Life. I mostly focused on face products. I wasn't really looking for eyebrow or eye eyebrow eyebrow or eye products I was really just looking for basically face products I wanted a new foundation I just wanted something new because your girl has been stuck on fit me for a while and I needed something else that fit me okay so she put this on my face and this is the MAC studio radiance moisturizing illuminating silky primer and when I saw this I was like oh okay I like that um, she put it on my face and it gave like such a dewy look and if you know me you know that I absolutely love just dewy makeup so this right here is what it looks like and it helps to kind of like hydrate the skin and also give your skin like this dewy look at the same time now as you guys know I am oily so typically I'm looking for items that will give me that glow without making my oils protrude even more of that makes sense so it's like a pump um, form and all that you do is just squirt the product out. I've never used this before so it's probably going to take a while. Okay there's a little bit. I'm going to share it with you guys. So as you guys can see it's white and then as you rub it of course it blends out into nothingness but I can of course tell that it's very moisturizing. It's going to give your skin that nice glow and it's just extremely soft okay. I love it. It's going to be beautiful on the skin. When she tried it I wore it for that whole entire day and I was like oh I like this. And also the smell of it is kind of perfumey so if you're not into like scents on your face that smells kind of like perfume you may not like this but I absolutely adore it honey. Now this is a tried and true that I have not purchased in forever and a day. This is the MAC Pr Fix Plus. This is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Pr Plus. Sorry. I'm, girl, I'm stuttering and stuff. I'm too excited. Okay. Same old, same old. If you've had Max, uh, Max, MAC Fix Plus before, you already know what it looks like. Um, very simple. You just spray your face with it. And I'm so happy that I purchased this because, girl, this used to be something that I was obsessed with, okay? I used to love this stuff so much. And then one day, I just never purchased it again. But I am so happy to get back on my kick of using this. Then we moved over a little bit, and I was like, I need a foundation because, as I told you guys, I mostly went in there for face products. I wanted some new face products that I had not tried before so I ended up picking up the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in NC44 okay. Now to be honest this is like the perfect shade for me. I really hope that this specific foundation does not oxidize. I believe that I had it before but previously when I had it it was either too light or too dark. It was one of the two. So I ended up not using that any longer and this is really like my first time trying to get in my actual shade. So now I'm going to get the full gist of how this works but from my experience with it previously I remember it being like very very um like almost as if your skin was like porcelain like it looked like I had on like a filter or something of those sorts so I cannot wait honey to break this open 
Now, what comes out the foundation? Of course, concealer. <laughs> so I ended up getting the MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer. This one is in NC43. You know you have to have a shade that's a little bit lighter in order to highlight under those eyes. And I said to her, listen, honey, I want something that looks like I have on makeup, but also looks like skin. Okay, so not too cakey, just very simple, very easy. And she ended up sharing this with me. So this is supposed to last for 24 hours, which is great because as you guys know, I am an entertainer. I travel with my mom on the road, who is a blues singer. And of course, um, you want your makeup to stay all day, especially while you're on stage. So I thought that this was one of the perfect ways in order to ensure that of course i'm going to try it on before i go on stage but nonetheless it's going to definitely get tested out and i'm going to let y'all know exactly how it works now you need a powder to set all that greatness into place so this is the mac blot powder now she said that this was supposed to be like um i don't know like of course like your skin but better um it's supposed to be glowy it's supposed to not mattify your makeup too much you just apply a little bit and of course she was telling me that when you look at this it looks a little bit too light right but of course it kind of like blends to your skin tone oops oh that was a card anyway honey it blends to your skin tone this is medium dark so they only have like three shades in this and it's supposed to kind of customize itself oh look at that little mirror I haven't had something with a mirror in so long, honey. I ain't bought nothing with no dang mirror. But anyway, yeah, I cannot wait to use this because right now it's looking real suspect. Like it looks too light, but we're going to see how it goes for your girl. And I also needed a lip liner, so I ended up coming across this. This is Max Lip Pencil in Spice. Um, this was very popular back in the day along with Soar, I believe, Whirl. Um, it was kind of like in the lineup of those. So I've had Spice before actually. Um, and it's probably somewhere around here. Um, but this was like one of my go-to lip liners back in the day. And when I say back in the day, I mean, honey, when I was like 14, I loved me some Spice, some Soar, all of these different lip liners. So I ended up picking up another one of these, which I don't know why I got this because truly, truly, I needed a dark brown lip liner. But I might go back and pick up another one. Um, but as of right now, this is just what it is super duper nice a very neutral it has like those pinky undertones i absolutely adore this and last but not least your girl ended up picking up two of max lipsticks so i got saint germain and cosmo i'm pretty sure i've had saint germain before um but somewhere along the way it got lost in the sauce okay honey so it might be somewhere somewhere around here and it might not i don't know if my mom had it or i had it but either way some some somebody in this house had saint germain okay I have definitely used Saint Germain before but anyway this is what it looks like and it's just like a bright um, bubblegum pink I'm gonna pull it down a little bit because y'all know these lipsticks have a tendency to fall there we go well actually it's kind of like a muted pink or is that just how it looks in my camera yeah it has blue undertones it's gonna make your teeth look extremely white beautiful beautiful shade and it's gonna go very well with that spice lip liner as you guys can see and I also ended up getting Cosmo. Now, when I saw this shade, I was obsessed because I went in there looking for like a nude lipstick. Um, so this was what I really came across. Okay, so it kind of goes well with that um, lip liner. Okay, it's basically the same shade, almost, just in lipstick form. So you guys, those were all the items that I picked up from MAC. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge, huge thumbs up i don't stay on the makeup side of youtube much so i'm not sure if people really do videos like this anymore but i was like honey i want to do one let's take it back to the old days okay so don't forget to let me know down below if you enjoyed this video let me know what your favorite product from mac is and also share this video so that other people can see it honey if you support the channel share this video okay and i'm gonna see you guys in my next video bye can't be defined by your mistakes you know you're trying you're trying